You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's I Dream of Nini, The Wedding After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, Another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's I Dream of Nini, the wedding after show. Mm. Mm. Yes, feel it. Feel we are walking down this aisle. Walking down the aisle to the finale. Yes, you do, child. Dreams again. Dreams again. that on the show. Yes. This is I Dream of Nini, the wedding. Thank you for coming to our After Buzz TV after show final wedding ceremony. This is the finale and I'm so sorry about it. The season one finale. I'm your host, Jake Dupree, along with my lovely co-host. Hey guys, I'm Michelle Renee. Yes, with her yes. her top knot she yes. got on top of her head. She's going for the wedding, honey. I am. <laughs> So let's get started right in with this whole shebang with the let's start out with the pre-wedding because there's a lot of stuff that happened right before the yes. wedding. And I want to start off with Vivica A. Fox, the lunch. Desperate much is the question that comes to mind when I think of Vivica A. Fox. Yeah. No, no. I, she's Vivica not Fox one. now. Vivica Fox back then, amazing. Yeah, she's not really one of my favorites. No. It's not that I dislike her, but I think that she's had a lot of, she's made a lot of poor decisions in the past few years, and that coupled with the fact that her career isn't really what it used to be. And her face is frozen. Yeah, mm. and it has kind of just made people dislike her a little bit. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, she's just, there's just like so, she's just Contrived, not genuine yeah. at all. Like everything is just so like false and like, oh, I see you shopping. Like, I, did you, like did you much. get those from our store? So what does that mean? Like she has a, a, a store, store that sells Louboutins? Or? I guess. I don't know. I guess. But I love that Nini was just like, do you like old, Do you like younger men or older men? You need to date an older man. She was like, well, I like. Shade. Trying to get Nini over Nini threw some shade on that one. I know, because with all yeah. that 50 Cent drama. 50 Cent, like, and then as of recently, like I think she was dating some other younger like football player or basketball player or somebody that Charlie apparently dogged her out as well. <laughs> I mean, what does she expect with these guys, especially like rappers and like foot basketball players? Like, of course they're gonna cheat on her. Yeah. I mean, that's really mean to say, but I don't know. Sorry. I mean, she said something like, "Oh, it's not about getting the butterflies. I want them to do. It's it's for other reasons. Penetration. She in, yeah, she was insinuating that it's for the, you know, sex. And, yes. And I don't know. I you're think a little she's old just for that. that. I mean, that's what I was gonna say. I think she's just trying to save face, and I think that genuinely she probably like the rest of us out here is looking <laughs> for love, and you know, hopefully one day she does find someone that gives her butterflies because you know everyone deserves, everyone deserves that. Everyone deserves a you they know do. wedding like. But I feel these. like she needs to date someone older. Yeah, definitely someone yeah. at least not maybe older than her, but someone that's at least Within in her age group. Age, yeah, yeah, not someone that's like. Within that decade of fifteen like, years younger than she is. Yeah, you're asking for trouble. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just not going to work. I don't think. But you never know. There's Are you be... a bad pick or a bad picker? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, that was on the new Atlanta this, uh -huh. this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Bad pick or a bad picker? <laughs> Maybe she's a bad pick. Oops. Bye. I think she's a bad picker. Vivica, you're going to find love, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, All right, right. So, moving along, we go to the Leeks family dinner. And this was really sweet. They were at the, on the border. And I love a good Mexican food restaurant. I do too. Even you if even it's a chain. Tacos. Even if it's, of a cha it's a chain. Like, awesome. Like, what else are you going to find in Atlanta for Mexican food, I guess? But um, <laughs> they, I love that Briasia was there. And it was really nice just seeing, like, all of them together. And I like what Nini said. She was like, I like that Brent can hang out with his half brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, cool. And he feels like, you know, he has them on his side. And that's what they all said. They're like, we have your back, like, all the time. Yeah. I just liked hearing their excitement, too, for the wedding. Like, all of them were excited to be there and to be and involved. And they love Nini now. Yeah. And so that's great. That is good since it's kind of a I hope that I hope that this is, like, a staying thing. Like, I hope that they're still that way. But I, I do because it looked like they were 
you know, in a better place. Yeah. Some of it's still like that. Don't you think, do you think it is? I, I don't know, and I haven't done much research on the news I and gossip, either. but I know how people get weird, like, once they see shows air and once they see comments that are made mm -hmm. that they didn't know existed. And I know how people get catty and people get vindictive and they want money and so but they maybe, act a certain way. So I don't know if any of the kids would do that. But, but hopefully if they had a, if they saw something, they would be like, they would just call her or text her and be like, that was yeah. really mean. Do you have anything to say? Or maybe in their quest for fame, they kind of, Throw I mean, her. like the son did, like the, I don't know what and his name is, radio but like show. he did yeah. initially in the mm -hmm. radio show, kind of threw under the bus to kind of get his name out there. And Oops. I mean, I could see it happening again. I don't want to wish any ill on anyone's family, obviously, but no. I could see it happening. I hope it doesn't happen, but I could see it. Yeah. I mean, I could too. And then we move on right along to Greg's bachelor party. This was so uncomfortable for me. Like that was really weird. Those girls were nasty. Like yeah. they weren't even good strippers. I'm like, if you're gonna get a strip, well, I guess I mean, what's their option? Well, Atlanta? I mean, I think that is like an Atlanta stripper. Like Atlanta is known for its strip clubs, and I think it's a bunch of you know, women that are naturally Couldn't kind get a of job like anywhere bigger. else. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Ugh. I I just think that it's kind of ironic that Nini she used to be a stripper, and so she obviously knows like what, what goes, goes down on. literally. Mm -hmm. At these <laughs> at these bachelorette parties, and she like still trusts Greg enough, and she's still confident enough that like you know this is my man. She used to be a stripper, so I'm sure she's done a bachelorette party or two. No, uh huh. Um, so yeah, I mean, he seemed like he was well behaved. I think some yeah. of the other husbands looked like they were enjoying they it were a, little, a little too it just, much. It's maybe. just so creepy, like seeing that like hungry predator face that of, guys like, make. It's like, yeah. oh, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah, and then throwing ones. and I, I mean, the stripper industry, just in general. And that very... outfit she had on, I was like, oof. I hope you washed it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> uh, the dental floss. Uh, dental floss in the crack and in the front. Okay. Gross. Um, been there, played that. Never going to go back again. All right. So <laughs> we see they have a little rehearsal dinner, and uh, it's really sweet seeing Judge Mathis meet with Greg before and like see you know like Greg is like I got my family back I didn't understand a lot of the stuff they were saying to each other I was like why are we mumbling like it was just weird they were like yeah yeah it was like all this like weird like guy talk I think Judge Joe Mathis was trying to make a lot of jokes and I don't maybe some of them were just kind of <laughs> like, like fell flat or something yeah but and then we see them do the <laughs> stick to the judging <laughs> yeah stick to that please um and then we see um we see them do the rehearsal, and Nini and Greg sit down. And that was really sweet that the two of them got to sit down within the ceremony space, like just the two of them. I don't know. That was really. Now, I cried on that part. That, I, I think did that too. was the first time in the episode where I cried. Um, I, I just thought it was. I don't know. I mean, I did. Don't get me wrong. And this is kind of moving ahead a little bit, but I did cry during the ceremony as well. Mm -hmm. But for me, seeing them there in just like. Just the two of them in this like big space, and it's all decked out in all white. And he gives her the prenup. It just was something about that moment that said, you know, and signified they really love each other. And this mm -hmm. is just about them. It's not about the huge spectacle of the wedding, even though obviously the wedding was a huge production. Yeah. But I think in that moment, it just really, you know, I liked how much it. They loved each other. I liked it a lot because it was you could see the two of them sitting at home. Like that was that was them at home just like when the cameras aren't there like mm -hmm. that's the two of them and it was just i don't know it was something it was cool to see nini in that way because we always see her like on like on nini and i don't know it was just really nice nice super nice and i, I did really tear up at that i don't know i'm just i mean I even though it was it. about a prenup like that's yeah not the most emotional i guess <laughs> for us but <laughs> i mean and when they put that background music to it it's just it's yeah, a wrap like it's little like, tinkling um, of the uh -huh. piano i'm like damn you got me probably you got me i love it and then we move on to the girls brunch and this is the day of the wedding correct is this the day of the yeah, wedding I yeah think so it is the day before and they're all wearing their robes and omarosa is there from the the apprentice, the apprentice. i was like bitch why are you here like i guess they're friends Right? No. Yeah, I guess they made friends on the show. I mean, she's friends with a lot of reality was she, stars. Was now. she on Celebrity Apprentice? She was. She was on the know. season. She wasn't with, on the season with, with Nini, Nini, but though. I'm assuming that's how they. I mean, Nini's friends with so many reality stars. I mean, now, she's we were like be a... picking them out in the audience. Oh yeah, we saw some tonight that we yeah. didn't see the first time we watched the show. And I mean, the, she mentions, and I don't even know where this happened in the episode because it was a two-hour-long episode, but. 
there's one scene where we see her like frantic over the fact that her wedding invitation was leaked and that you know there's Amorosa tweeted damn stuff. pictures yeah, yeah Amorosa tweeted pictures and it's like if you have to worry, if you can't trust the people that you invite enough not to leak your invitation, then mm -hmm. you need to seriously reconsider calling why are you, these people friends. And like, why are you inviting these 400 people? Yeah, like, you, why can't it be just 200? Yeah, and how people are like, oh, I got a, an invite to Nini's wedding. Like, I think she could have definitely scaled it down and just truly invited the people that were closest to her and Greg. For instance, um, what is the guy's name from last season that was with Kenya? Walter. Walter was there. And I didn't see him the first and time Kenya I watched the episode. wasn't there. Yeah, and like Walter's there. Okay, Walter could have been, we could have done without Walter. I hope that they address the why Kenya wasn't there on this new season, this season. of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We'll find out Sunday, I guess. But yeah. I hope that they do because I think that it it probably was a, a, like a strategic decision on Nini's part to be like, you're not coming. Yeah. Is this going to, is her wedding going to play into Atlanta? I think season? so because it, okay. it like coincided like. What the wedding ended and then they went right into filming. filming. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, back to the girls' brunch. I didn't mean to get a side. No, 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 but... it's good. And that, it was just really sweet to see all these girls come together. And I liked how Nini was emotional about all of them mm -hmm. being there. Like it, it was just nice. Like it's just nice to see this other side. I kind of wish that the Real Housewives of Atlanta would follow these bridesmaids, these bridesmaids, bridesmaids, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. bridesmaids. I wish that they would follow them. I don't know. I I like the dynamic with all of them. I like that they there's like there's a really fun quality to all of them and there's still a good drama side too. I yeah. think it'd be a really great idea for them to just maybe like get rid of some and put these girls on. Put these on, yeah. yeah. Get rid of who? Ooh. Candy. I like Candy, but No. I don't know. It is it played out? Is it played out? Phaedra's played I don't think out. Can, I, I would say Phaedra over Candy, definitely. Okay. And I would say Cynthia. You know that I am, like, so over Cynthia. Yeah. I think that everyone likes Candy because even though she doesn't bring that much drama, she, she is, is such a cool, down-to-earth, like, hometown girl. And I think people just admire her for the, you know, hard work and, that she's done. And Yeah, and she lives a pretty sense. normal life. Yeah. Like, you see her in sweats and, like, you know, like a regular person. Yeah, and I think people like her story. You know, she had a fiance get killed, and mm -hmm. then now she's found love again. She, she's, she's, she's going to be in it for the long person. haul. Like, yeah, she's cool. going to be in it for the long haul. Okay, I'll I go with I'm you. sorry that we made this about. I'll go no, no, I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there in a minute. We'll talk about the fashions. because yes. that was a lot. And all the former housewives over there. Yeah, yeah. It's a really well, interesting not former, group of people. But <laughs> yeah, and then we, of course we moved right along into the girls getting ready for the actual wedding, and I love that Cynthia was like, "This is like getting." ready for the Emmys red carpet. I'm like, bitch, what do you know about getting ready for the Emmys red carpet? Shame. Maybe she's been there, though. Maybe she has been there. I Maybe shouldn't say is. that about her. I'm sure she's been I like Cynthia a lot, so I shouldn't say mean things about her, but I was like, what do you know? No, a little mean comment here and there never hurt anybody. Hurt anybody, anybody right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hurt some feelings, but... I mean, yeah, and then we see all the girls getting on their dresses, and that's... It was really cool seeing, like, each of their personalities, because and whenever we walk down the aisle, we'll talk about their each of their dresses, too, but... I don't know. I was just really blown away by all their makeup, too. Yeah. I mean, they all looked great. Like, that collectively is... I think usually when you see, like, a group of bridesmaids, not to be a mean pr girl, but, uh -huh. you know, it's usually not as cohesive. You yeah. know, there there's different sizes. There's different, you know, hairstyles. There's different, you know, all this stuff, heights and everything. Mm -hmm. But this group from everything, even though their hairstyles were different and their dresses were different... It was such a cohesive group of women, and they all looked so amazing and great mm -hmm. that it's just like what I aspire to for my wedding. Yeah, like I'm gonna have to hold auditions or something to have it look this <laughs> nice. You, and like you should make up everybody and be like, you don't look so good. Made okay, up. Okay, like, beside her, wait, you you two switch places. Yeah. Like, what yeah. did you think? Uh, wait, getting, I'm getting a little ahead of, my, ahead of myself, but what did you think about Cynthia being on the very end of the girls? I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it was really weird to me. That struck me as odd. But I like that she introduced everyone down yeah, the aisle. Yeah, she walked in first. She was very striking. Mm -hmm. and so was Peter. I thought Peter looked really awesome. You love Peter. I love Peter. For you some reason, Peter. I don't know why. I don't know why I like him. I think it says, like, bald head and, like, his white beard. I think it's cute. I don't know. Mm. It's just me, I guess. I'm alone. And then, of course, <laughs> we see Marlo throwing a damn fit over her dress. And this was... I could not believe that she was made such a stink about this. I mean, I can believe it because that's just who she is. But the fact that she would run upstairs while Nini's like getting ready and wanting at this moment by herself, like that's crazy. I'm gonna call my seamstress. I'm gonna call my seamstress. <laughs> I got, I don't trust her. Like, no. <laughs> that was just that was weird. 
right? That was weird. Yeah, I mean, it It was typical Marlo, mm -hmm. and we obviously knew something was going to happen. My question was, why wasn't this finalized beforehand? Like, they did all these fittings with the bridesmaids' dresses, and apparently this this morning was like the first time they had seen the finished products like yeah. that should have been handled way before so i mean i can understand someone being frustrated that their dress doesn't fit properly mm -hmm. it's not like it was falling off of her though to where she had to make that big a deal about it yeah it, it's reminding me of kim's mom and the whole shoes on kim's wedding thing. Uh -huh. it's like chill out just like calm down this is not it's about not you. about you and like i understand if it was gonna fall off of her like of yeah. course like let's do it but the fact that and then they solved it. Her and Laura solved it. Like, oh, you just pull it right here. Okay, it's fine. Around the neck. Yeah. She just wanted some drama. Uh -huh. Which, and you know, was... my theory, it's always like, who told her to go do that? Uh -huh. Production. Go upstairs. And yeah. Nini. Do you, and we saw several times within this, like, little pre-wedding part that Nini kind of was ignoring her calls and stuff. So do you think that maybe Nini was like, I'm going to include Marla because I think she'll make my show really great. And then she saw how much trouble she caused. And she was like, this is not worth my time. Do you think that she regretted having Marlo as a bridesmaid? Because she said in interviews she didn't, she doesn't regret having her, but she said that she is extra. Um, I don't think she necessarily regrets it, and I don't think that she just added Marlo for the drama necessarily. But I think it was definitely one of those things where, despite her and Marlo's friendship, Marlo could have not been in the wedding as. Some of the other bridesmaids Couldn't, probably could have yep. not been in there either. It was the same with the guest list as it was with the bridesmaids. It was too much. and Like she didn't yeah. need all of it. Yeah, the, the criteria for her bridesmaids is a little off. It, yeah. it was someone that she's known since birth and then someone that she met two years ago filming a reality television show. Which not to say that everyone in your wedding has to be someone you've known Forever. for 20 years. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just like... Know who you're putting in. Yeah, like, know who really you're putting who in. And, and I, I'm, I'm glad we got to see a lot of her and Jen uh, from Basketball Wives. I, I'm glad we got to see a lot of them hanging out because you could see that they were actually friends. And and I like that Jennifer was like, I'll help you whatever, I, however I can. Like, what do you need? Yeah. I think that was cool. It was just nice to see that they're not just superficial friends. Like, oh, she's on another reality show and I'm on this reality show. Like, we're friends. I, I feel mean, like there's a genuine quality to the two of them being friends i mean i hope that with every yeah i i like jennifer williams like she was mm -hmm. you know one of my favorites on basketball wives you know so this is not to throw shade her way but i mean i think with anyone that's been on a reality television show they know how it works as far as filming goes well, yeah and they know like okay i need to extend an offer to help her with this wedding because that means i'm going to get more camera time and that means that my name's going to be put out there again obviously the real i mean not the real housewives the basketball wise franchise doesn't include her anymore right the one mm -hmm. from new york does not include yeah, her she's anymore. Not in there anymore laura is not in the one from la anymore um and so i, I don't know i mean i think maybe it's strategic. i just think that they're conscious of when yeah. they're doing I mean, and they should be I mean, I think that that's why you see, like, Lexus and Michelle and all them. Like, they don't really – like, that's not a part of their world. Yeah. And Don as well and Pat. Like, you don't see them being super, like, in front of the camera. Like, it just is, like, catching them in real moments. Yeah. Versus, okay, well, Nini's going with her family this morning to get bridesmaids' dresses. Jennifer. This has nothing to do with me, Jennifer. but I'm going to offer to go. And Cynthia, too, like, how's the wedding planning coming along? Like, let's Let me call take Tony. you to go get some shoes. Uh-huh. And some, some plastic like, janky shoes. Ass yeah. So I, yeah. So I don't know. That's all I have to say about it. Ooh, but I mean, I, I think like the that, observation, though. Yeah, I think that they are genuine friends, but I think that maybe Jennifer, you know, just knows how to work it. Get it? Genuine friends. Genuine. <laughs> I like what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm here all night. Um... <laughs> And then we see Greg getting to the venue as well, and, and Tony Conway gives him a present from Nini. And this was this was a really, uh, this was another one of those real moments where you see someone's true reaction. He, I love that he cried. Like that's I I wouldn't expect Greg to do that. Like I was really shocked that he got so emotional. Mm -hmm. But I, I just don't think that he was expecting to get a present like that. You know. Where was her present? May I'm just like materialistic, like her selfish wedding girl. Because I'm like, where's my gift though? Yeah. Like she probably was thinking. Well, that's like I mean, getting somebody that, something for Valentine's Day and they seen, don't get you anything back. She had never seen the ring though. Oh, she'd never seen the ring until okay. she got it. All right, so I guess that's her gift. That's a big. He ass gets a ring. Rolex. He yeah, gets... and it was 15 carats, right? The en the engagement ring. She had that though. Oh, oh, and then the wedding ring was just like a band of diamonds. A band of diamonds. So. 
Because, you know, I think it's tradition for there, there to be, like, an exchange of gifts. Like, and maybe, like, a note to go along with it. Like, I love you so much. I can't wait to yeah. marry you. Here goes your Rolex, and here goes your new car. I don't or know. Like a pair but, of shoes. Yeah, I don't know what an yeah. adequate gift would be, but she didn't get one that we saw on camera. Yeah. And I was upset about that. <laughs> well, maybe that's why she was a little pissy before the wedding. She was like, that bitch didn't get me any, wet, any <laughs> present. <laughs> and then let's move into this, because this is my favorite part. The guests arrive. So yes. let's talk. Okay, let's, let's first discuss. start off with the Real Housewives of Atlanta that were there. Okay. You didn't see Lisa Wu Hartwell. I didn't. Lisa Wu is what it is now. But her hair looked Ooh, so, <laughs> so bad. It was like this I weird... I have seen her hair on Media Takeout. They did a story about how she was getting her sexy back after the divorce. Was and it so like, a was short, like a short, yes. like spiky, like a short, weird yeah. ass hair? It looked bad. Oh, like she, if... She knows what she looks like on camera, and she knows what looks good on camera as well, because she spent two yeah. seasons on The Real Housewives. And it's like, come, you got to come correct, especially if people haven't seen you in a while. Like, come looking really, yeah. really good. And I she, mean, she's a very attractive lady. She though, is, so. and she's got beautiful face, beautiful skin, and everything. But it was that you, was you're not liking my her with look. the longer hair. Or yeah. if it was gonna be shorter, make it like Halle Berry More or more traditional, Nini, yeah, not cuckoo like damn cockatoo or something. Like that's what it looked like, honestly. It was bad. It was not good. Not good. Um, what did you think about Candy's outfit? Um, I'm just not crazy about that red yeah. hair. I, Candy's outfit didn't do anything for me. I wasn't like, oh, Candy looks great or Candy looks awful. It was just kind of like, mm. okay, Candy. Yeah. And I feel like that's how a lot of her outfits are. I never really I have she, moments where I'm like, Candy looked phenomenal. I just don't, she Maybe every now and then. I but, feel like she doesn't have the most innate sense of style. No. Like, she's like, oh, that's cute. I'm going to wear that. But it's not, maybe it doesn't fit, like, her personality so much. Yeah. Because there's sometimes on the, on the confessional moments where she's like, she looks so good. Well, on the confessional moments, they have, like, hair, makeup, makeup. stylist. Well, like, she, and then she said she did her own makeup for this ceremony. I was like, what? Well, her makeup looks good, yeah. It did, but, like. I would be so terrified. I mean, I guess her makeup and hair part people were probably helping with this whole thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. And Phaedra, what did you think about her? Don't remember what she had on. Exactly. <laughs> but I loved, loved, loved. What? Why can't I think of her name? Portia. 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 Like, you like the side bun? I wasn't I, her hair i don't even know what her hair looked like looked, i just loved like her Princess dress like a cinnamon roll on the side of her oh, head oh i just loved her dress and she she looked to, really she awesome. to me is one of those people who i constantly am like watching for what she has on she always looks great her hair is amazing yeah so yeah. she def i mean and at first i kind of judged kim a little bit because kim i don't know if I, we, we want to move into kim yeah, yeah but kim ahead. had on a black dress and I remember being like, uh, that's such a hater move to like wear a black dress. But I guess she was kind of trying to camouflage her pregnancy. Her baby, yeah. And then I was like, oh, well, I guess that's kind of hypocritical of me to judge her because I really like Portia's dress and it's black. Uh huh. Because you're not supposed to wear black to a wedding. But it had embellishment on it, though. Like it was it had that like silver, like shoulder piece. I just loved it. Thing. Portia, Portia to me looked the best of the house. I'm excited for, and I'm especially excited for her for the new season. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to be awesome. I feel yeah. like she's going to really step up. I hope yeah, so. Yeah, hopefully without that dead weight of her ex. I know she didn't need that at husband. all. Like she, she's way too fun and like silly. And I like that. so, so, so like happy that she, she mentioned somebody like somebody's divorce, divorce attorney. Is Nini? Yes, yeah, Nini. They were talking. That's to, so yeah. ironic that your divorce attorney is at your wedding. <laughs> but she's like, you know, at first it was hard for me to go to weddings, but now you know I can go. Yeah. And I can that only imagine. That means yeah. she means she's moved on, but yeah, they do and, still live in the same house together. I know. I can only imagine though how like hard that would be to just you know go to someone's wedding and have to deal with that so good for her if she truly has moved on like that's obviously I hope commendable i hope she has too I you can do way better and girl. she's 31 or two however she's oh, 32 she said, like that's so young still yeah so especially. she will definitely move on to bigger and better things definitely i love her i really like her i do too and kim's i loved kim's wig that was yeah kim's wig looks good that yeah. looked amazing i mean that, I was, it's one of the best i've seen on her that was really cool <laughs> and i liked her dress i liked that it kind of hid that baby underneath there and we'll talk about that after the wedding and stuff. she somebody is asked when she comes in they go are you pregnant and she goes no. don't don't believe everything you, you hear read. boo read boo uh-huh and i just thought her energy was negative at the beginning like when she first came in it seemed like she came with an and with a chip on her shoulder well i think probably everybody in the whole entire room was like <gasps> kim. kim is yeah. here and she probably was like <sighs> you know uh, yeah. you know probably like you know how she is but it's kind of like kissing. Expect, yeah i don't know it was really interesting and who else? Who else were the other housewives that we could? 
Talk. Tammy Roman was there. She's not really a housewife. I mean, but... was was that Tammy Roman? But would Jen and Tammy Roman be in the same room together? What happened with them at the end of the season? I mean, I I didn't watch basketball wise religiously, so oh, I don't really well know. at the end of the season. I mean, t Evelyn and Jen made up, but now they're not like friends anymore, obviously because they never talk about each other mm -hmm. or see each other. But Tammy and her, I feel like they always just like Tammy always was like kind of rude to her, and threw shade her way. And she always get, gave her so much crap about having her own cos cosmetics line, and then she has her own cosmetics oh, she line does? now. Hmm. So it's like really. I don't know. Jill Zarin. Jill Zarin. Housewife from another city. Looking a hot mess. That hair was so bad from that one side. It like had fall. Something had fallen and it just looked crazy. <laughs> it did. Um, Marisol Patton was there. Real housewife. Real housewife like of Miami. She was wearing a glitter condom. Like it was a lot of glitter. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't my favorite. I like her. I really do like her, but that was just not a good look. Yeah. Nene has has really branched out to the housewives and yeah. was Tamara Barney there to no, make that Gretchen. up. Gretchen. 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 That's what it was. Gretchen looked good. She I mean she looked. I mean as Gretchen tacky always looks like a over, freaking. It's a little overdone. Barbie it's like overwrought. Slash it's like, beauty queen. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot, but it was cool that she was there and Patty Stanger was there Patty with was her there. fiance. Mm -hmm. Patty looked good. Patty did. She look did good. look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw her kind of throw some shade when Diana walked down the aisle though. She was like. Something there was a maybe oh, she was thinking shade. about Al though because she walked with Al, uh, Star Jones ex husband yeah. yeah so maybe she was like what's he doing here maybe you know? they maybe it was like a cut and they like edited some moments together maybe because you, you know, know they edit Diana they they throw shade the editors definitely uh. throw shade Diana's way <laughs> maybe they hate her I don't know and who else who else was there that we can like fashion wise I don't know I Vivica Fox was there of course but I did not like the dress she wore to the wedding it looked like a box it did look like a box. <laughs> It was just, it was just and it flat. looked so juvenile. Like it was a pink dress with, I don't know. It was giving me like picnic, like Easter. It was giving me little girl's Easter dress. It was, it was. And then, who else was there that we could talk about? Um, I think that's about it, really. Mister Miss Lawrence and Miss Lawrence and Derek J. They looked Derek fabulous. J, I liked, I liked Lawrence's big puff on his forehead, like head, head, head. That's amazing. Hmm. I know we're gonna oh, we're missing people. We'll yeah. think about it in a minute. So yeah. let's just move on. And and then Nene almost passes out before she comes out on the uh, like down the aisle. And I love that they made it seem like it happened like right before she was supposed to walk down the aisle. And everyone's like, like oh, what time is it? You know. I'm like, no, it wasn't that. It was probably like that was probably everyone shot before the wedding even it started, like the processional. But then we get to the wedding, and the moment that really I loved the entire ceremony, but I loved the entrance with. I believe in you and me. Like that was amazing, mm -hmm. and I loved the whenever Brent Greg went to get the movie. Yeah, we'll when Brent Nini. and Bryson gave Nene away, and Greg was just crying. Like that really got me because I don't know. It's just like it's a celebration of family. I think a wedding ceremony for me. That's what it's mainly about. So yeah, and especially in a situation like theirs where it was I a mean, broken home. He's obviously home. their father, and it's a broken home, and they're coming back together now. So I think that. There's and a whole other level yeah, to it. it is. Yeah, it's cool. Levels. I mean, Meek and I, I just liked their, I just liked the entire ceremony. I think it was over the top, but also true to them as well. Like, I feel like there's nothing that they could look back and be like, I wish we would have done this differently, or I wish that we would have not done this. You I know? didn't like all that family coming down the aisle. I didn't like that. You didn't? No. And then, like, Briasia got brought in by Ashley. Oh, like, yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah, by herself. Like, that was a little weird. Yeah, by herself. Yeah, because it's why, like why she's Bryce not. Walk her down the aisle? She's not a fiance. Family, and a family she's not member, a wife. Like... <laughs> but I guess she wanted Briasia to be in the wedding. But and then I guess Bryson had the crutch, so he couldn't really hold his daughter on his no. hip. But he could, they could have gave him to her to Brent. Yeah, Briasia to Brent or something. Yeah, that would have been more appropriate to me. And I love though that player walked down the aisle. That, that, that was, to me, I was like, that's so that's so cute. his little tux. That was really yeah. cute. But I don't know. I just liked the whole ceremony, and I liked that that choir ended the whole thing. Like, it was so over the top, but perfect. Perfect for them. And we, I want to also, this last fashion thing we're talking about, I'm sorry. Nini's what did dress. you think about Nene's dress? Well, you already know the answer to it, but, uh -huh, um, but thanks for calling else. me out. Thanks else. for calling me out on air. Um, I did not really care for the design of the rhinestones. And I know lace a lot of people felt that, that way. I just, especially when you're as glamazon ish as Nene. That is a lot for that whole big pattern and that much of the dress. Mm -hmm. Like if it would have been just on the top or maybe even like on the edges of the dress like, like it a, was. Like a, a belted belt. region. Yeah. yeah. But I just think for that entire dress to be made out of that, 
I did not like it. Yeah. At all. I actually, I was coming down the aisle. I liked it better. It looked really pretty on camera with all like the lights and everything, but it wasn't my favorite dress. I was really shocked that actually she went with that dress. I thought that she'd do something that was more high fashion looking. Mm -hmm. Like this was more commercial looking to me. Like I thought that it was more of like a off the rack kind of moment. Mm -hmm. And I know it was, but she paid like I know, $58,000 for it. Like that's crazy, but it just wasn't, I just, I just, I don't know. It just wasn't special enough for me. I really liked the veil. I liked that. I liked her headpiece. Yeah. I thought it was special and cool. It was just tasteful. I loved that. But it was yeah. just different. I remember the first time I saw it like in pictures before the show even aired, I was just like, damn, like it was a missed opportunity for me for yeah. her. And I think that people, when they get their dresses custom made, they seem like they have to do so much do so, and it yeah. has to be unique, so unique that sometimes it goes wrong. Yeah. Real quick. I, and I mean, I don't think that she'll ever look back at pictures and be like, I regret that dress. Mimi would never know. No, because she's like, this is not dress. I did. I would look awesome. $58,000, yeah. But it just wasn't my favorite Honey, look for I her. killed him. Blonk, bleep, bloop. Uh -huh. All right. And then we see the reception. Right before the reception, we see Kim and Nini. I actually cried during this section. <laughs> I did. It just made me happy to see the two of them and like her and then Nini saying, y'all have sex all the time. Like, you have sex all the time. That was really cute. And I like that. Kim shared with her that she was having her baby, mm -hmm. like twins, is what she's having now. She's having twins. Is, yeah. it, is one of them a girl? I don't know. Probably because that the psychic most, predicted that. Another she girl. is the most fertile person ever. I mean, like it's like one comes out and then he puts it in. Like it's crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like keep it under control. But she, I mean, she's young-ish. Like she's not in her late thirties. Like she's mm -hmm. still got it. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. I mean, but it was just like, that was a cool moment to see the two of them, to see they've come so, so far and been in such different places now. It's so cool to see them come together. But Nini was on Watch What Happens Live or something recently. And through. And through Shade Her Way. So it's another one of those situations where somewhere between the taping of that moment and real life now, something was said, something was done, somebody saw an interview or something, and feelings got hurt again, uh -huh. and now we're back to square one. So that's why I can never appreciate these makeups that happen, even though I want but them to happen, like I can never appreciate them. Nini because... did uh, put on Facebook today, actually, she was like talking about how special that moment was for her with Kim. So I don't know. I mean, I just feel like they used to be really good friends, and after they got into that fight, even though they make up sometimes, I feel like there's still an element of competition now more so than than there was before. Ever. Than yeah. ever. I don't think there was that element of competition before, but now after their friendship went through that rocky period, I think now it's all about the comparisons Who's gonna between be, do them. Better. Yeah. Whose spinoff is better? Whose wedding was better? Who, you know, it, and it just... I don't think they can be genuinely happy for the other. No. As bad as that sounds. I don't think so either. Like, they can be but they don't want to see the other one be more successful or do better. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. It makes yeah. me sad because they're truly great together. Yeah. Like they're good damn TV. Like I, it's just funny to watch. Like they're so funny, Yeah. but it's just, no. And they keep reiterating, like we're just in two different places now in our life. Like what the hell does that mean? You both still live in Atlanta. Like, okay, one is an actress and one's a stay at home mom. But if you want to be friends with someone, it doesn't matter if you're in two, if different, you're in places two different places, or... you know, like, what in does your that life, mean? what does that mean? Exactly. So I want to round out the episode talking about the reception. And I loved that whenever all the bridesmaids got to come in dancing and stuff, that was really cute. And then Nini and them came dancing in. And then I like that Nini acknowledged all of them. And she said, these girls were here for me at some point during, you know, our divorce. Uh -huh. So it's like, these are the girls that really mean the most to me. And I was like, that maybe that's what ties these girls together. Maybe like she had a conversation with at least one of them <laughs> at some point. She has spoken to at least at least they, they've, like five they've spoken at least once about her and Greg. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's why. And then but she wait, could you just pause? She threw some shade during that. Like Nini has a bad habit of like throwing shade people's way. Like oh, for during instance, that in, to, during that interview part when she was talking about each of the girls. Is that what you're talking about? Um, when she was like hood rat Lexus. Hood rat Lexus, fake as hell Marlo. Or she said something. Uh -huh. Always wants attention on her Marlo or something uh -huh. like. Okay, Marlo, selfish. I get it. Selfish, selfish, selfish as hell, Marlo. And we get it because Marlo is selfish. Yeah. But Lexus, like, why would why you, did you throw your friend on a bus like that? Do you think she like did that because she saw that Lexus was kind of, like, hanging out I with Marlo a lot? I think she did it to kind of be funny. And I think that's kind of her relationship that she has with her friends. But to me, 
it just kind of be... says something about Nini because I've noticed that she does it a lot. For instance, whenever they were at the women's brunch with the robes on, she was talking smack about everybody like, yes, yeah, some of y'all need, need makeup, makeup on. Exactly. And she was the main one with her glasses on. Yeah, and I, then, that's, I saw, I you know, that too. Whenever they like... went to go get the Botox and she's like uh, calling all of them out, like you need Botox here, there, everywhere. Like, Nini, you've had work done. Yeah, so, so I don't know. She's kind of a shady friend. She is a shady friend. A little friend. bit. She and throws I've... shade at her friends. And, and if it's not, I feel like if, if the attention isn't on her, she doesn't like that, obviously. Yeah. Like she just is like, no, this has to be all about me. So it's interesting. Anyway, that that, that bothered me a little bit. I was like, oh, just let just let it be sweet for a minute. Like yeah, let's be sweet without for just a, minute. a dig in there. I would be if I was like, so I'd be like, screw you, lady. Like don't call me hood rat. Like that's crazy. Don't, don't call me a hood rat when you're from the hood. Exactly. Okay. No and offense, you grew Nene. up with me. No offense, to girl. Yeah. <laughs> but I also more than Nini, I love Fantasia. Love Fantasia <laughs> so much, and I'm I cannot believe that Greg got her at their wedding. Yeah, I, that was maybe that was her gift. That was her Fantasia. gift. Maybe that was her gift. And if I would have been at that wedding, I would have literally peed my pants. <laughs> I love Fantasia. I love her so much, and so that was really cool. And then Greg, of course, did his cute little last man standing last routine. Man standing. It was cute, and the crowd went wild. They loved it. They lo ate it up, ate it up. It was like one of those like Tyler Perry live moments, you know, like. <laughs> Audience is like participating. Like I love that. Yes, <laughs> that's what it was like. And Tyler Perry wasn't there, and supposedly they're good friends. Oh, interesting. Or maybe he was there, and we just didn't see him because he got like, lost in the crowd of four hundred. Yeah. Or he was like, I don't want to be seen. He was dressed up as Medea, so we missed him, and we thought he was the Her person old... we thought was Tammy Roman was really <laughs> Tyler Perry. <laughs> it was really Tyler Perry. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. And if you are Tyler Perry, you can go to iTunes and yes. <laughs> Michelle. Right. Write and comment on our <laughs> iTunes page. It's our last after show, but we still want to hear your closing comments, what you thought of this season, who you thought the best housewife was, who you thought the best looking bridesmaid was. Bridemaid. You know, bridemaid. Let me say it right. <laughs> okay. Get uh, it right. And all that jazz. And while you're there, pick up a copy of The Adventures of Serial Buddies. It's a comic. Uh, a comic. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. A yes, comedy. It's a comedy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> You're a comic. That was, yeah, I am. I try to be. Uh, produced by the founders of AfterBuzz TV, Maria Menounos and Kevin Undergaro. So pick that up on iTunes. You can get it on Netflix as well at Blockbuster and also 7-Eleven if you're looking for a good film to watch this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> pick it up. Thank you. Yes. All right. And so that's the end of the show. Of the show. And we're. I'm sad it's over, but I'm excited because we get our fill of Nini. Continuing on next week or this weekend, actually. This weekend on Real Sunday. House of Atlanta, yeah. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Fortunately, we won't be on the after show. We're clearly not cool enough for that on that mm. Real Housewives of Atlanta after show. But you can find us on the Vanderpump Rules after show. Yes, Tuesday at this time. Yeah. So just follow us that way. Yeah. So if you like some crazy white kids, let's watch it. Amazing. Where can we find you between now and next Tuesday, Jake? You can find me on Twitter at Jake underscore Dupree and on Instagram at Facebook at Jake Dupree. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Michelle Renee LA. We'll see you next week. Yes, we will. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.